Lexa Rose here, the ring queen. And I just came from a very rigorous workout. This is a very special episode of Wrestling With Beauty. I am working with Trainer Joe's on this particular video. This is hopefully one of the first of many videos that we will be producing together as a collaboration, which I will be giving you guys some post-workout tips on how to stay beautiful after a very rigorous workout. So this week I want to talk uh, about skincare. So what we're going to be talking about this week is about proper skincare. Now we're going to talk about what happens to your body after you work out and what happens to your skin after you work out and I'm going to give you some tips and advice on how to correct all these problems that we all face in the gym so that when you get out of the gym all you trainer joe members will not look like hot messes because it happens and sometimes it's important to know how to be able to fix the problem before the problem exists in the first place so with that being said let's get this video rolling and let's get right into it this special episode of wrestling with beauty is a collab with trainer joe's they are located in Jersey so let me just give you guys a little heads up and describe to you guys who Trainer Joe's is and why I was approached to help them do this beauty vlog for these guys because it's really important that you guys know who this uh, Trainer Joe is and where they're located and what they're all about is located in New Jersey I am going to put the link down below so you guys can take a look at it uh, Joe is a master personal trainer in which he helps you not only master your body but master your mind as well his gym promotes being able to keep in shape and also being able to master the law of attraction what you put out there is what you get back in so he uses that to help motivate and inspire people to work out and to achieve their fitness lifestyle goals. Sweating isn't always a bad thing. Sweat is actually good when you're working out because it helps push out the bacteria and and unclogs your pores and basically it's a way of balancing your pH in a way and just kind of cleaning your skin when you sweat. All the dirt comes out and all the bacteria comes out, the sweat. but. It's also important to know that while sweating is good, it's also good to clean that off your face. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to not look like a hot mess after you get out of the gym, okay? Important things you should take into consideration is before you work out, cleanse your face. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy, just a simple facial cleansing wipe and just wipe the face down just get rid of all that makeup and if you have to wear makeup keep it as light as possible but make sure that the face is kind of clean of any dirt or pores because remember you're already gonna like throw on a whole bunch more dirt and pores uh, dirt in your pores from working out dead skin cells from other workout equipment dust from the actual gym although if it's a really good gym there shouldn't be dust but still other people's body sweat on the machines not everybody cleans up the machines after they're done with the workout that's another thing that you should also keep in mind wipe up after you're done you sweat we sweat we all sweat so it's important that you wipe up the machine when you're done you're probably noticing the first thing after a workout is your face is completely red that's because the capillaries close to the skin start to dilate which is why you end up having that red face it also means that your face is kind of slightly irritated because your pores have been working over time to kind of uh, pull all that sweat and dirt out so of course your whole face is just gonna be one big massive red bloom popular belief exercising is not detrimental to the skin it won't cause you to prematurely age however you might want to push back on the extreme intense workouts. I mean, you tend to make these funny faces when you're working out and then you wonder why you get the wrinkles and stuff. But that's what you want to do, fine. But working out three to five times a week, nothing too crazy is good for the skin and it's not, it doesn't prematurely age the skin. So you're not gonna get old because you're working out or anything like that. 
so don't worry about oh i'm gonna get wrinkles because you know i work out too much there's something there is such thing as too much but there is such thing as just right high intensity workouts aren't gonna really ruin your skin work out in order to prevent your skin from aging you have to work out from 40 to 60 percent of your maximum heart rate if you go anything further like 70 to 80 percent that's when it starts to affect your skin but other than that just keep it from 40 to 60 percent of your maximum heart rate and you'll be perfectly fine so don't feel that working out prematurely ages the skin there are stipulations also know that working out helps prevent anxiety and overload of stress basically working out is stress relief a lot of people find it funny when I tell them that being in the ring is stress relief for me because they think oh well you're taking back bumps you're doing shoulder tackles and you're you're working out with somebody exactly you're working out with somebody when you get stressed you build up all these like chemicals in your brain that kind of get you angry and what happens is if you're not releasing that stress you're building it up building it up it's kind of like taking a soda bottle and shaking it up and then you got all those bubbles in there and then once somebody opens it poof, it blows up in the wrong person's face so working out definitely helps not just the body not only the the, the skin the anti-aging it also helps the the mind and soul it's very very cleansing for the soul people think I'm crazy when I say this but you could ask trainer Joe he believes it and I believe it working out is good for the soul it helps cleanse the soul of any anxiety any stress any even something as physical as dirt this is pretty much melt away once you get yourself into a rhythm of a workout or when you're running and you have a good song on it's all about empowering the mind and body it's not just of the physical nature but it's also of the emotional and spiritual nature so uh, keep that in mind when I do these videos and I discuss we I'm not just going to discuss the physical benefits of post-workout advice and stuff I want to also be able to explain that it's also a spiritual um, connection to it all the mind and the body the mind cannot function without the body and the body cannot function without the mind so the whole point is to make sure that both are cohesively working together in order for you to live a better lifestyle a more healthier fit lifestyle water words cannot express how much I swear in my life by water water is so good for the skin people think I'm crazy when I say this I drink water more than I drink anything else even if I'm at a restaurant I'll probably drink the water first before I even ask for a soda because I like water. Although some restaurants you got to be a little careful with because you don't know what kind of water they're using. So uh, most of the time since what you'd want to do is you just want to put some cool water on your face. Not drown your face in cold water although it would help to remove all the sweat. But I would wait for that after the workout and if that is during after the workout wash your face if anything just wash your whole self trust me you'll feel so much better for it. it it's not that you find yourself wasting time you're gonna have to take a shower anyway so you might as well take the extra time while you're in the gym to wash yourself off because if you don't you tend to have dirt bacteria sweat dead skin cells all all over your body and then you have clothes that might irritate it and rub up against it and it'll cause stuff like back knee that you wash off all that bacteria because then it'll tend to start to create an odor and you do not want that in your clothes that's why your clothes always end up having that familiar gym smell or your gym bag has that familiar gym bag smell it's due to all these odors and, and sweat and fluids and bacteria all kind of muddled together and drying up and yeah not good it gets in your clothes it kind of stays there <laughs> so that's one important thing about proper skincare is always make sure you wash now when you wash your face try not to use your full on facial routine just something mild as soon as you're done washing your face pat your face dry and about 90% dry let the rest of the water on your face kind of 
dry up on its own without creating because if you do use a towel to dry 100% of your face you're gonna get that dry cracky feeling and I know you know what I'm talking about it's like the dry skin feeling and then your face is like and you're making all these weird funny faces <laughs> try not to over dry your face leave your face slightly moisturized grab an astringent or a toner and just lightly spray the face to kind of give it more of an extra cleansing boost with that your face will feel much better your face won't feel caked on with heavy lotions and your usual nighttime routine it'll feel just fresh and clean and your pores will thank you for it they'll all be cleared you'll have less uh, red marks um also try not to wear makeup now i'm not gonna lie i'm guilty of wearing makeup because i don't like to look like a hot mess in the gym and that's what we're trying to touch upon what's important is to make sure that you care for your skin love your skin it's the only skin you have but try not to wear makeup because then that's another additional layer of junk on your face that <laughs> is going to irritate you when you get out of the gym so keep that in mind when you go to the gym try not to if you have to put on makeup like for example you're going to go out with the girls try not to go too overboard with the facial routine and just put on some light makeup remember your face has just been cleansed you just worked out so your face is kind of a little red so you might want to kind of go in the shower kind of calm the face down a little bit before you even try and put any makeup on water words cannot express how much i swear in my life by water water is so good for the skin people think i'm crazy when i say this i drink water more than i drink anything else even if i'm at a restaurant i'll probably drink the water first before i even ask for a soda because i like water although some restaurants you got to be a little careful with because you don't know what kind of water they're using so uh, most of the time also helps you lose weight water is probably one of the most beneficial things that i can't stress enough when you're working out and i'm telling you right now you could ask trainer joe he'll tell you too water is so important also um you want to also have like um something with electrolytes like gatorade because when you do sweat you do lose electrolytes it's common signs so always try and have water on hand just for your skin sake water is so important and when you're working out gatorade gatorade is definitely a very important essential drink that you want to have by your side when you're working out one of the most important things to do after a workout take care of the skin what you're gonna do is before you work out wipe with a even a makeup wipe but I would suggest using a facial cleanser there's a difference makeup wipes are to remove makeup facial cleansers are to just clean the face so there's less product in there that's less unnecessary product in there to clean your face as opposed to a makeup wipe that's gonna have like a whole bunch to kind of break down all the makeup and make it easier to remove from the face next work out drink plenty of water make sure you have a lot of water on hand because that water is going to help hydrate you because as you sweat you lose water also keep gatorade by your side as well because you're going to lose electrolytes it's very important for skincare balance when you sweat you're basically rebalancing your ph levels especially for you ladies it's very very important to keep those ph levels balanced workout what you're going to do next is you're going to wash your face or at least try and wash your body even if it's nothing too serious just hop in there a quick rinse off with mild soap just to get all that stuff off and you know a little exfoliate to kind of wash the dead skin cells the bacteria the dirt that's clogging your pores then once you're done dry at least 90 percent of your body let the rest of the water that's still on your skin naturally dry up get a safe um not so heavy moisturizer just something light to put on the skin so that you can just be out and do whatever you have to do also like for the face you might want to do for the uh, face an extra step which is a toner that'll kind of clean up whatever is left on the face then you can moisturize with something like that's going to keep the moisture locked into your pores and with that just throw on some deodorant and you can hit the town as soon as possible if you want to 
Um, I want to talk later about makeup care and you know I'm, I'm pretty sure that the guys and gals don't want to walk out the gym looking a little hurt and red faced so uh, next video I will be talking about putting on makeup or finding makeup that's appropriate for after workout because you don't want to just dump more pore clogging stuff on your face you, you want to wear like a nice light makeup that's light on the skin that doesn't hurt the pores doesn't clog the pores too much you could also what I like to use is the Benefit Professional, which actually kind of protects the pores if you do want to put makeup on, especially after a workout. I wouldn't suggest it really too much, only because you want the pores are just cleaning themselves out. You want to give them a chance to breathe. But again, next video, we're going to be talking about what kind of makeups are good enough to put on the face that are light enough to apply to the face after workout so when you're walking out that shower or you're walking out that locker room you're making sure you're at a hundred percent fleekness and you've gotten all your tips on how to maintain proper skincare after a workout this is the ring queen lexa rose with a special trainer joe's collaborative episode of wrestling with beauty and this episode in particular is proper skincare post-workout I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to be able to see you guys soon on Trainer Joe's website. Their link is going to be down below so you guys can check it out. Again, this is the Ring Queen Lexa Rose. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Bye guys.